how to use Zoom on a phone and use breakout rooms. Doing it from my website, I already have a link to my Zoom room there. So all you need to do is click on that or click on a link that I've sent you in an email or my another web page, whatever. It goes into Zoom. Once it gets started, I'll ask you to launch the meeting. It's going to connect. Because I'm the host, it's going to ask if I want to reclaim the host. I'm not going to. Stay in position. But when it starts, you'll have a screen looking something like that, showing what's coming from the other, uh, whatever the other situation, whatever is other, who else is already on the, is it in the Zoom room. It also have a thing down the bottom, um, join Wi-Fi or cellular data. Touch that and it's joined that. Okay. All right. I'm not going to join the audio because I don't know what, but it will stop record audio coming here. Um, the couple of bakes you've got is join audio. You touch that. Stop video. You touch that. A little bar goes across it. If you were just uh, at audio going, the same thing would happen there. Share, we're not going to worry about. Participants shows you the number of participants who are already in the meeting. All right. To close that, it takes you back to where you were in the meeting. And there's a button called more. All right. More allows you to do a few other things. Don't worry about those at the moment. Okay. Uh, come back out of that. All right. The uh, thing I'm more interested in explaining is breakout rooms. With breakout rooms, it gives you the ability, if you're in the what's called the main room, you have multiple people there. If lots of people in the main room, it can be very difficult to have a conversation just with a couple of people. So if there's a few people that want to go to somewhere else, you can go to a breakout room. I've got 10 breakout rooms set out. So it says breakout room. I'll go to room number 10. Right. Join that. When I do that, it goes away from there and goes into breakout room 10. And I'm in that room okay it gives you a warning to say that the host is able to see what you see those six they can't see what you're doing got that okay so when you're in a breakout room if you want to come back out of the breakout room uh, you don't touch breakout room uh, again right if you did that you'd only go to other breakout rooms you actually have to leave it to leave and you can see you can leave the whole meeting or leave the breakout room I'm going to leave the breakout room. And that's it. You're out of the breakout room. You're coming out of it. Back to the, where everybody else will be. Okay. That's basically breakout rooms. A couple of other things. If you slide sideways, you can get a, uh, a from right to left, you get a uh, screen showing multiple people on the screen. In this case, there's only two people in, the, in this particular meeting. Therefore, only two are showing. But if there are more than two are showing, you can swipe again that same way. Uh, sorry, if there's more than two are showing, you can have up to four on the screen. But um, if you have more than four people, you swipe over again to see that. To get back to where you were, you go back to there. You swipe from right to left, right? It comes up with a safe driving mode, which means your microphone is muted and your video is stopped, right? You can speak to the thing without actually showing a video by just touching touch to speak. Okay, I'm not going to do that. Okay, uh, if you want to get back to where you were, you just swipe the other way. And that's basically it. That's all there is to the Zoom meeting room right, on a phone.